Now let's talk about check raising with the nuts. Once your opponents catch on to the fact that you will often check call out of position, that will make some of them more likely to fire a second bullet on the turn in the hopes of either A, protecting their hand, or B, stealing the hand from you with nothing. Against these types of players, check raising on the turn with a set, a flush, or a straight will be a play that works well. One important thing to think about on the turn when you have the nuts is that if you do check raise, make sure you don't take the play away from your opponent who may want to try a re-steal or even a re-raise with a hand he thinks is the best hand. Let's look at an example. With blinds at 2550, both you and your opponent are sitting on 10,000 in chips. You raise to 150 from early position with pocket nines, and your opponent next to you makes it 400 to go. You suspect a strong hand, but decide to call anyway to try and flop a set. Now the flop comes perfect, 9-4 deuce. You check and your opponent bets 600. You could obviously play this hand several ways, but suppose you decide to represent a drawing hand and just call, hoping in fact that the draw misses. The turn card is perfect, the seven of diamonds. You check once again, and this time your opponent bets 1,800. With only 10,000 in chips, you could go all in now, but since you put your opponent on a strong hand preflop, likely aces or kings, you don't want to scare him off. Plus, you want to represent a drawing hand so that your opponent shoves after you check raise. With 9,000 in chips, after the preflop and postflop betting, I would suggest raising the bet to say 4,000, just 2,200 more. If your opponent does have an overpair, he may decide to protect what he feels is the best hand and shove it all in. Sweet. Had you moved all in yourself, he still may call, but the all-in bet may scare him off also. That example showed how you'd approach check raising with the nuts when you put your opponent on a strong hand. But what about when you put your opponent on a complete bluff? Let's look at another example. With blinds at 1 and 200, sitting on 18,000 in chips, you raise the 500 with pocket fours and get one call on the button. The flop comes queen, queen, four, giving you a full house. You check the flop and your opponent checks as well. The turn card is the ten of spades, and you decide to check again against an aggressive opponent who you don't think can sit on his hands for two streets in a row without betting. Now your opponent fires out 1,000. You see that your opponent only has about 7,000 left, so you don't want to discourage him from continuing to play by putting him all in. Instead, you'd rather he tries to make a move on you for his last chips. Anything from 2,000 to 2,500 is a good number. That way, if he thinks you're bluffing, he may decide to represent the queen, little does he know, even that's no good, and shove it all in with anything from ace-10 to a straight and or flush draw. Two different examples, but in both, you allow your opponent to hang himself. The lesson here is that when you have the nuts, you always want to give your opponent a chance to hang themselves by making a play at the pot. If you raise it too big, you take that play away from him.